Hi! After watching the video, click the link in the description to download the program. I can't claim I did something clever or insightful. It was no stroke of genius on my part. In fact, I only got rid of my hemorrhoids by a stroke of luck, really. After more than two years of trying out everything that doctors advised me to try, I'd resign myself to simply managing the pain, just like my doctor had suggested. I stopped hoping for a remedy because, frankly, I didn't believe there was one. But the one thing I did continue to do now and again was read some online health forums. And that's where I struck gold. One old forum I used to like had an entire thread devoted to the problems of hemorrhoids. It felt comforting at times to read other people's experience of the condition. It made me feel less alone. Because I found having hemorrhoids is quite isolating. I was embarrassed about it to some extent. It's not a pleasant thing to describe. How do you tell a person who has no experience of it what it's really like? For some people, it's a funny condition, amusing even, which is both infuriating and dispiriting. Anyway, on one of the few occasions I logged in and read people's comments, I saw that they were going on about alternative remedies for hemorrhoids. I'm not really into all this alternative stuff. After all, doctors train for years. If they can't cure something, then, so far as I'm concerned, or more accurately, so far as I used to be concerned, that means it can't be cured. Right? Well, perhaps not. Gradually, the penny dropped. I read the thread. And, in truth, I was intrigued by what some of the contributors were saying about the underlying causes of hemorrhoids. In particular, a couple of people mentioned an approach to hemorrhoids they had taken that had made a startling difference to their condition. There was endless conversation over it in the forum, but the nub of the matter was this. Hemorrhoids is caused. It doesn't just happen. We get it for a reason. If you can identify actual causes, you have a fighting chance of remedying the condition itself. I realized there and then that creams and hospital treatments I'd tried were tackling symptoms, not causes. They address the hemorrhoids you've actually got, rather than the condition that's making them happen in the first place. And here's what this means to every single person currently suffering the pain of hemorrhoids. Standard creams and treatments leave the causes of your hemorrhoids in place. And if you leave the causes in place, guess what? You get the symptoms again. Swelling, itching, bleeding pain. What they were saying in this forum was that, like many physical conditions, hemorrhoids are caused by some of the simplest activities known to man or woman, namely, what we eat, how we move. Most of us have some pretty unhelpful habits in these two areas. If we also have a susceptibility to hemorrhoids, then these bad habits will ensure we get those hemorrhoids. Now, at first I was both excited and a bit deflated by that news. For one thing, I don't want diet advice. I really can't stand diets. I've tried a couple in the past, and they really don't suit me. And I certainly don't want an exercise program. All those silly moves and jumping about, it just isn't me. Turns out, though, that it's not like that at all. And that added to my underlying sense of excitement. I was reading in that forum about people who had painful, long-lasting hemorrhoids for years, but who were getting rid of them in weeks. There were two main contributors to the discussion in this forum, a lady who had successfully got rid of her hemorrhoids using this approach, and a man who had only been using the approach for a couple of weeks. His hemorrhoids had shrunk to almost nothing. They were nearly gone. The lady told us that although she had lost seven pounds in a month, she had eaten more food than she had ever eaten before. So, no diet then, which was good news for me. Anyway, weight loss is just a happy side effect. Weight loss isn't the point of this approach. Here's the real point. There are two really, really bad habits that are strong contributors to hemorrhoids. If you acquired hemorrhoids due to heavy lifting or through pregnancy, then these two bad habits are going to make it very difficult for you to shift them. If you already are naturally susceptible to hemorrhoids, then these two bad habits make it almost certain you'll get them, and you may well get them really bad. To repeat, the first bad habit is around what we eat. The second bad habit is around how we move. And to cut to the chase, we eat the wrong stuff, and we move too little, or we move enough but not in the right way. Both are very easy to remedy. Much, much easier than I imagined, actually. I'll explain it here. Bad habit one, I was eating the wrong stuff. To be honest, I like my food and don't really want to change my eating habits. 
But get this, modern medical science has stated this for decades. Food is medicine. Ancient medicine has known it for centuries, but that's a different discussion. In other words, all the different natural foods have their own protective and healing properties. Food has known and measurable effects on us. So although we tend to eat for pleasure, the truth is we can direct our eating towards specific, well-defined goals, like removing hemorrhoids. How do we do that? Well, the mechanics of hemorrhoids are well known. They include unhealthy bowel movements, weak blood vessels, and severe inflammation. At the same time, the properties of different foods are also very well understood. Anti-inflammatory, promote very efficient bowel movements, strengthens blood vessels, reduces swelling, relieve pain, and so on. Food choices are hemorrhoids choices. When you look at the scientifically evidenced health-giving properties of natural foods, you end up realizing that there are many foods that seem to have been almost purposely designed to relieve and remove hemorrhoids. One of the reasons I suffered my hemorrhoids for so long was that I didn't know which foods they were. I wonder if that's the case for you too. Because it's all very well endlessly stuffing fiber down your throat. But if more fiber was the answer, nobody would have hemorrhoids, would they? We have to be smarter than that. Understanding which foods directly affect hemorrhoids means we can take control of the condition and do something about it. For example, some types of fiber have much, much better anti-hemorrhoid effects than others. That's the fiber we want to be eating. Other foods contain natural astringents and anthocyanins. Both of these decrease hemorrhoid swelling and so reduce that awful pain. Again, we'd want to make absolutely certain we're getting these foods in our diet. Yet other foods specifically combat coagulation and inflammation within the circulatory system, primary causes of the development of swollen, painful blood vessels, and so on. Combining the very best medicinal and curative foods has an unavoidably positive effect on hemorrhoids. You can't help but get better if you're eating the range of foods whose effect is to make you better. It is intelligent to focus on foods that can end this hemorrhoid misery for us. That's the approach these people in the online forum were taking. Bad habit two, I was moving wrong. The second habit is to do with movement. I thought at first that meant exercise, but it doesn't. Not in the sense that you and I understand exercise, anyway. The basic bad habit here is this. We sit too much and move too little. Both of these are significant factors in your hemorrhoids pain. As a typical Westerner, I spend way too much time sitting. Sure, I walk here and there, but that's usually for minutes at a time. Whereas I sit, on the sofa, at a desk, in my car, on the bus, for hours. Sitting too long is very bad for hemorrhoids. As a side note, too much sitting, which two-thirds of Americans are guilty of, also raises your risk of heart disease, diabetes, stroke, high blood pressure, and high cholesterol. So we need to move a bit. But not all movement is equal. All that weight training stuff, getting all sweaty, straining, doing sit-ups every day, that's not helping at all. In fact, certain types of strenuous exercise is shown categorically to make hemorrhoids worse. Movement that eases the causes of hemorrhoid pain is gentle movement. They're nurturing. In fact, you can perform those movements while you're watching television. There's no jumping about, no special equipment. Perform the right movements, and you're giving your body the healing that it craves. A lot of this has been known elsewhere for centuries. We just haven't been making proper use of it. Now we can. I did, and I'm so glad that I did. Address these two bad habits. Get rid of hemorrhoids. So these two bad habits around eating the wrong foods and not moving enough in the right way are the reason your hemorrhoids continue to have such a miserable and possibly worsening effect on you. So address your eating habits, and you've stopped doing the things that make hemorrhoids possible. Eat the specific foods that directly tackle the different aspects of hemorrhoids, and you've taken away hemorrhoids' ability to exist in the first place. Perform a couple of gentle movements that help those hemorrhoids fade away, and you're done. I maintain these simple but powerful habits to this day. I have not had a single instance of anything even remotely like hemorrhoids for a year. I honestly don't expect to experience them ever again. So, what about you? If you realized you could say goodbye forever to hemorrhoids, would you make these basic changes to your daily habits? Is getting rid of that pain worth it? 
Yes, it is. But how? Okay, so the key to all of this is, of course, how the heck do we put this all together? Well, that is a trick question, because I already know the answer. The lady on the chat forum who had successfully got rid of her hemorrhoids, and the gentleman who was in the process of doing the same, happened to both be following the same program. They told us about the program and how it worked for them. The program is called the Hemorrhoids Healing Protocol, and it has been created, tested, and proven by Scott Davis. It turns out that Scott is a well-regarded alternative health practitioner. He concentrates on the causes of various conditions. He then applies non-drug, non-surgery treatments for those causes. Scott's approach to remedying unpleasant but persistent conditions is pretty simple, really. Successfully tackling the causes of a condition means you've successfully got rid of the condition. Which makes sense. Without the causes, there can be no condition, can there? His hemorrhoids healing protocol is designed to remedy the specific bad habits around food and movement that directly cause the condition in the first place. A long story cut short. I was so determined to get shot of my miserable condition that I bought Scott's hemorrhoids healing protocol that morning. It's not like me to be so spontaneous, but these damn things had made my life miserable, and if there was a chance of making them disappear, I was willing to go for it. I got rid of these awful hemorrhoids of mine in under a month. They've never returned. I have zero swelling, zero bleeding, zero itching, and absolutely zero pain. It wasn't an immediate fix, but it was a quick fix. It took about three weeks for things to clear up. Certainly before a month was out, I was pretty much a new and significantly happier person. So what does this involve? There are some obvious and understandable questions you might have about Scott's protocol, such as, what is it? What do I do to make it work? Am I going to have to change my life in order to do this? I'm time poor and cash strapped. Is this expensive? Does it take long? Let me just answer these clearly and bluntly and let you decide if it's for you. Put simply, the protocol addresses those two bad habits I mentioned. First, not eating foods that are known to directly reduce and remove the causes of hemorrhoids. And second, not moving in ways that, basically, ease and then reduce them. First, the food aspect. Scott describes the precise foods that act directly on the weaknesses that cause hemorrhoids. He treats food as medicine which is what it really is, and shows you the foods that remedy hemorrhoids. He turns those foods into easy to prepare but very tasty recipes. They're quick to prepare too. Scott realizes that if they take too much prep time, people simply won't do them. If you aren't a natural cook or your culinary skills are only basic, you'll no doubt be pleased to hear this. On a personal note, one thing that I was most happy about was that this isn't a diet. So I ate as much as I liked. But if you're underweight, check with your doctor before starting. Some people report some fat loss with this protocol. Also, none of these foods are exotic items that you've never heard of. They're all available in your local supermarket. Some of them you might not previously have tried, but they're widely available. And because they're easy to source, they're not at all expensive. You don't have to go to specialist outlets to acquire them. So, easy to find foods, simple ways of turning them into delicious meals, inexpensive, and tasty. There are no portion restrictions, and you can still eat almost all of your favorite foods. You'll be a happy eater, but you'll also be a much smarter eater, which is what your hemorrhoids desperately need. And it's why you'll start to see improvements in your condition more quickly than you might dare to hope. Then, the exercises. Scott's movement plan centers around exercises that nurture healthy bowels and relieve hemorrhoids' painful symptoms. They strengthen the anal muscles and reduce swelling and discomfort. They tackle constipation head-on by stimulating the abdomen. Although, to be honest, they're not really exercises as you and I might imagine them. And given that I'm a bit... lazy, I was delighted to see most involve sitting, or even better, lying down. In fact, there's a couple you can do and nobody would even know you're doing them. I mostly do my exercises whilst watching TV or listening to music. Actually, that's how I remember to even do them. The moment I decide to watch something, it's my cue to also quickly do my exercises. It's really lovely to be doing these movements with such ease. It's wonderful, actually. 
What do I have to do to make it all work for me? The simple answer? Not much. The hemorrhoids healing protocol provides a lot of insightful information that, despite my various inquiries, I'd not heard of. But Scott does one special thing that, for me, is the key to his whole program actually working. Instead of dumping lots of interesting and inspiring facts on people and then leaving us to work out how to apply it, he has created a three-week step-by-step plan for us to follow. Three weeks to freedom from hemorrhoids. I didn't have to think about how I was going to apply Scott's knowledge. His protocol did all my thinking for me and showed me exactly what to do. So I now shop a little differently. I still go to the same shops, but I choose slightly different foods for some of my meals. When I watch TV, I don't just sit there idle anymore. For short periods, I do some of the healing movements that help ease my pain and shrink the swelling. Doing this ensures not just that the hemorrhoids go. It ensures that they stay gone. A year after using Scott's program, I can confirm that they have gone. They've stayed gone and I absolutely know they aren't coming back. Also, as a bonus, he also describes some really useful ways to get instant relief from hemorrhoid symptoms while the main program is taking effect. And while my symptoms reduced quickly, I did use his instant relief advice for a week or two because, to be honest, I was still experiencing some pain. But once the program started taking effect, the improvement I felt was really, really quick. Click the link in the description to download the program.